Matthew 7 13 to 14, heaven can be entered only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad, and its gate is wide enough for all the multitudes who choose its easy way. But the gateway to life is small, and the road is narrow, and only a few will ever find it. Jeremiah 21 8, And unto this people thou shalt say, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life, and the way of death. With God there are only two paths to choose from. One leads to life, heaven, while the other one leads to eternal death, hell. The right path is narrow with only a few willing to go in the right direction, but the wrong path is wide and it is heavily traveled. The world does not like the fact that God gives you the choice to choose only one path. But the only way you can continuously choose the right path is that you understand that there must be a willingness to fully commit yourself, your spirit, your soul, and your body to the Lord. You must trust Him not only for the salvation of your souls but also for the direction of your lives. It must be a commitment that you make without reservation. Next, there must also be a healthy distrust of self, as well as an acknowledgement that you need God's guidance. Proverbs 3 5 through 7 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Don't assume that you know it all. Run to God. Run from evil. Therefore, you must be willing to study the Bible and learn God's will for your life. I'm working very hard day and night to produce sound spiritual and biblical content to help you grow in your faith and walk with the Lord. I have very recent videos that I have produced this week that prove that most preachers and those motivational speakers are lying to you about what you must do to be saved. They are telling you to pray a so-called sinner's prayer. But that is an absolute and complete lie. God does not accept a sinner's prayer. And I proved it in those other videos. But it is up to you to watch and verify my content by the word of God and follow the path of the Bereans. Acts 17 11 they searched the scriptures day after day to see if Paul and Silas were teaching the truth. So please watch the entire video, and not just a small portion of it. Take notes, ask questions. You must seek the truth. 1 Thessalonians 5 21 prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Remember, this is for your benefit. Be sure to invest into yourself by liking all videos, sharing with others, and comment, amen, as well as subscribing. So, until the next time, take care.